What I hope to do today is to give you all, metaphorically speaking, a pair of trust glasses that you can put on and see how trust is impacting every dimension and aspect of your lives, of your relationships, of your leadership. I've heard it all, including people say, here we go again, lovey, dovey, covey, right? If you start with a culture of trust, your productivity, your execution, your innovation, your collaboration, your partnering, your teaming, everything goes up. Three big ideas. The first big idea is that trust is an economic driver, not merely a social virtue. Second big idea is that trust and the ability to create trust is the number one competency of leadership needed today, more than any other. So look at those first two big ideas. There's an economic case for trust, there's a leadership case for trust. Answering the question why, if you buy the why, you then want to move into the how. And that's the third big idea, which is this, that trust is a learnable skill. It is a competency. It is something that we can learn and do and create and establish and expand and extend, and in some cases, even restore when it's been lost. It is trust that makes our organizations, our cultures, be collaborative and innovative. It is trust that makes our relationships thrive. It is trust that makes our world go round. You take away trust, everything slows down or even grinds to a halt. In a very real sense, trust is the new currency of our world today. When we extend trust to other people, we're giving them a chance. And we can not only change their life, but our own as well. We need more trust in our world today, not less. And while it takes two to have trust, it only takes one to start. And each of us can be that one. I thank you so much, my friends. What an honor to be with you today.